Tom Nato from Brocade. Uh, I'm going to show you a demo of the Brocade Viata controller um, running uh, as a VPN gateway solution uh, with OpenStack. Uh, this is a proof of concept uh, that we've done jointly with Comcast uh, in the US. Um, also, uh, if you have questions, feel free to raise, question, you know, raise your hand during the presentation or whatnot. Um, this demo uh, is going to be pretty interactive. Um, you know, so if you want to see something, let me know. But I'll, I'll go through the basic scenario here. We're also doing this demo at our booth. Uh, so if you want something more in depth or in detail, uh, you can stop by the uh, Brocade booth. So <clears throat> what, what we tried to do here was we, um, we have a use case where uh, Comcast has multi-site video distribution. Um, and they wanted. Um, a dynamic and flexible way to position um, video servers. And so the solution here is to provision uh, VPN tunnels that are not only uh, inside of the Comcast network, but also to show that this can work for extranet uh, capability. Uh, for example, if they wanted to use a cloud provider or, or whatnot um, to go off net. We also used. Um, a, a demo high-speed um, broadband access trial that Comcast has going on right now as well um, to connect one leg of, of the demo. Um, the demo is fully V6 capable uh, as well. Uh, and then we're controlling the entire setup using the uh, Brocade Viata uh, SDN controller, which is an open daylight-based controller. So this, is a, this figure describes uh, what's going on in the demo. There are three sites. Um, one site is Comcast uh, in Philadelphia. One, si one site is actually my house, um, which has broadband residential uh, high-speed access through Comcast, uh, special high-speed V6 service. Um, and then the other is our lab in San Jose. Um, you can see <clears throat> there are VPN tunnels connecting uh, each of the sites. There's actually a third one here that's not drawn. Um, these are uh, tunnels that carry VPN traffic between the sites. Um, and not only between the sites, they're used to also handle um, what is the San Jose site, which is in effect an extranet site, so it's off net. Um, whereas these two sites are actually on the Comcast network. Um, what we've done in the demo is we've set up the three sites. Uh, we've provisioned the three sites using OpenStack. Um, and we provisioned the Viata V routers, which are the gateways, uh, VPN gateways between the sites. Um, we provision that, uh, lay those down, configure the tunnels, and then the traffic runs across the tunnels. Um, the other cool thing we can do, <coughs> excuse me, in this configuration is that if we need additional capacity, uh, it's very easy to, de to deploy additional V routers. These are all deployed using heat templates. Um, so it's as easy as literally pushing a button and plugging it in. Um, we're also running, um, again, the Brocade Viata uh, SDN controller. And we're running three instances in, of a single logical cluster of the controller. The controller is uh, Helium uh, Open Daylight based. Um, and you, you can see, I'll show you that running as well. Uh, that's used to uh, control and manage and configure the, the V routers uh, once they're laid down. And I th think that's all we wanted to show on here. I mean, I, there's a couple of interesting things on here. I mean, I'm actually showing the actual addressing that we're using. Um, the V routers are also fully configured using NetConf um, and the uh, controllers are talking to the routers, the virtual routers using uh, NetConf and uh, obviously Yang. The UI also is using the RESTConf interface uh, that the controller is exposing. Uh, this is showing a little more detail. Um, we actually are running tunnels within tunnels within tunnels so that this will work. Um, 
it's a, it looks a little bit messy, but this is what you need to do to get this to work off, uh, with the offnet case, the extranet case. Um, and we're showing you know, full v6 connectivity uh, between the sites. We're also demonstrating the Viata 5600 router in the example, um, which is going to be uh, available in a couple of weeks um, using the images that we're showing here, so full netconf capability. So how does this work? Um, so I'm actually not going to step through all of the VM creation and whatnot, because this actually takes some time. Uh, if you're interested, we can do this at the booth. But um, we only had about 20 minutes here for the demo. So I'm going to go through some of the highlights. But basically, the, um, the way that we, we configure this, the, the, VM, um, the VMs are running the brocade image. Um, with public IP addresses, static IP addresses from Comcast. Those things are provisioned using OpenStack um, and laid down in the network. Uh, the controller then discovers those instances. Um, and then we use the controller to con actually configure the tunnels on, these, on those routers. Uh, we have, again, those three sites, San Jose, Philadelphia, and New Hampshire. Uh, and then I'll show you the Brocade UI uh, that's used to actually talk to a couple of the sites. See, I think we went through this already. Uh, again, we're going to use RESTConf between the UI and the controller, NETCONF between the controller and the routers. Um, and again, we're going to provision the hosts um, using OpenStack. And I think, there we go. Yeah, this is just further going through the example. Um, Building, building, the, uh, building the example up. And then let me get to the last slide in here. Um, yeah, and the last, the last slide here is actually showing, um, again, sort of the logical picture of what's going on. But um, you know, further pointing out that you know, we have three view routers running. We can easily add another site. Um, you know, these, are, these are just three Nova instances that are running. We could add a fourth one if we wanted to. Um, and that's all you would need to provision additional instances somewhere else. Um, and then the use case, of course, is again to, to transmit video or other traffic end to end. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me bring up the demo here. Um, actually, let me show you the, a couple of slides. These are screenshots from the demo real quick. Um, so again, the network topology uh, is reflected. This is basically cloned at each of the sites. Um, you'll see in the example, we have two VMs, which are uh, you know, just Ubuntu VMs that are traffic generators. Um, and inside of the network, we have our gateway router up here. We have the Brocade Viata controller instance. Um, actually, in, in this uh, instance we had two running here. Um, we could, you know, we could basically have as many instances of the controller as we'd like running at the site. Um, and then the VPN tunnels are running between these V routers and the other site, and that's how traffic is getting uh, from where it needs to go to. Uh, that's just another figure of that. Let me grab the UI. Uh, so this is, this is one of the first applications that we're coming out with when we release the controller in a couple of weeks. We'll be actually shipping this as a product in two weeks. Um, and so we have two applications in here. One is called the Path Explorer, which I'll show you in a second. The other is the, the Viata EMS functionality. Um, so we can see the controller will have discovered the three instances. Um, you know, because this is a logical controller, um, it's feeding in the instances from each of the sites, um, and you can configure those <clears throat> from here. Um, and we actually configured the tunnels using this interface. You can configure all of the parameters um, on the vRouter using this app. 
This is a tunnel visualization application. So this is the Path Explorer app. This is the second app that we have in here. Uh, so this is showing you know, your Viata V-routers with our tunnel that's running between uh, these two sites. Um, and here's another tunnel, the other tunnel that's running between these two sites with the end, uh, the end VMs uh, and their stubs, uh, stub networks uh, hanging off of there. Um, this is the Path Explorer app. Again, this is showing how we're actually configuring uh, these, uh, these paths and highlighting the paths uh, that you just configured. Cool. So let's jump into the live demo. So this is um, this VNC, <clears throat> excuse me. is of the live running network. Um, so I'm SSH'd into, uh, uh, this is the uh, Philadelphia site that I'm connected to. And you can see these are the live, these are the live routers. Um, these are the Ubuntu's that are running. If I want, I can open the console. So these guys are actually running. Let me jump in here. I've actually got some scripts that are running that are actively pinging. So these are running at each of the sites. Um, so over here, we're, <coughs> excuse me, we're pinging from, from one site to the other over here. So this is 10.017. This is net, this is pinging net two. And this should be pinging net. 107. Yep. So if we go over here, whoops, sorry about that. Log in here. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. So this is the site uh, in New Hampshire that's connected over the high-speed um, broadband access. So this is one of the guys. Um, this is 10.02. This is the 10.02 side that I'm pinging uh, in that ping. Um, and what else? Um, we can actually go to the router config over here, which I believe is running here. Yep. So this is the console for this for this V router over here that I'm talking to. So you can see the configuration over here. And I think I think that's all I wanted to show. Um, you know, the point is is that you know it's possible to integrate the two of these guys together, um, and uh, and it actually works and it works pretty well. Um, there's a couple of areas that that we're going to be working on right now. Um, when the V routers are configured uh, and are provisioned, right now the controller has to discover those using uh, LLDP or a variety of other protocols. Um, what we want to do is um, actually hack Neutron so that it, it works correctly. Uh, and I think there's some work going on about this uh, right now in the L3 space. Um, but right now, you know, when things are provisioned through Neutron, they don't actually uh, flow into the controller. Um, And I think that was, oh, I wanted to show you also the live topology that's running in the controller. So this is the, <clears throat> this is the Path Explorer app that's running. 
And you can see the routers that we have here that were discovered in the previous one with their hosts on the ends. Um, and then also the EMS that we have, let's see, in here. So this is, this is one of the V routers. This is the V router that's at the New Hampshire site. And you can see the interfaces that are attached. Um, this is the guy with the, this is V6 address. Um, and then we can also explore that guy with the uh, Yang Explorer. This takes a little bit. Here we go. So let's go through that. Come on. Come on. get that from the, there we go. So we've retrieved that table from the, from the VR using NetConf, and we're showing, we can display the, the info here as it came out. So this is pulled out using the RESTConf interface, which then talked to the device using NetConf at the bottom. Um, if we want, we can actually uh, modify these things so, you know, the fields that are configurable, we can modify those. I think that's all I wanted to show. That was, um, you know, sort of demonstrating the Path Explorer and the EMS, uh, as well as showing how you can do provisioning with OpenStack, uh, and then configuration with uh, Open Daylight. Thank you. There any questions? No? All right, thanks a lot.